Hey guys, Molly Mandelberg here with Wild Hearts Rise Up. And I can honestly say that I've been waiting two years to make this video because I started making my Oracle deck um, almost two years ago and I've been working on it, writing a whole guidebook to go with it, designing all the cards, coloring all the cards in by hand using colored pencils. And this box just finally arrived. So I'm gonna open the box and tell you guys a little bit more about the deck. I haven't looked at it, obviously, yet, because I'm opening the box right now. Um, so it's possible that I'm not going to be super stoked, but I'm hoping to be really stoked. And I did my best with the digital files. Let's see what happens here. Um, I did the test print through an American company called Vervante, and that's because I wanted to get them really quick so that I would have, this is what we're looking at here so that I would have a test print in time for Burning Man so I could play with it out there, maybe take some pictures of it while I'm out there. And then I'm gonna do a full printing probably with a Chinese company that I was working with. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Lots of paper. deck with a little teeny tiny guidebook. <laughs> I didn't know how the guidebook, how thick it would be. So this is what we're looking at. There it is, the back of the thing. Oh my gosh. I'm going to leave, I got two the same. I'm going to leave the other one in the box for right now. I'm um, going to open this. I can already see that the print files didn't work right because there's supposed to be a white border around the edges of the cards, which did not come out. Ooh, the backs of the cards turned out pretty cool. Definitely not enough contrast with the tree, but I really like how the Flower of Life de design came out. Not quite straight, there's a little bit on the, of white on the edges. So that's probably my bad on the file designing. I'm not an expert PDF maker, but here's the cards. Let's just flip through some of them. Embody trust, joy, <laughs> I'm getting them all out of order here, um, joy, birth, leap of faith, boldness, ego. I really like how they came out. I mean, I would like them better done the right way, but pretty awesome for now. The perfect moment. The Magician's Portal, Resourceful, Analyze. I'm not gonna tell you all the cards, I don't wanna give it all away, but I will tell you a little bit about how I made it and why I made it. Um, so I love that these are an actual deck. I could like shuffle and play with. It's so fun. So I um, started messing around with the tarot. Um, I've always been, there's jealousy. Uh, I've always been into metaphysical stuff, whatever. I grew up liking um, all that kind of stuff. Oh my God, here's a little front of the book, back of the book. People said there wasn't enough contrast in the one people voted on. I had people vote on the covers, um, whether it should be green or black. I went with green and to appease the people who wanted more contrast, I just put a white circle behind the logo. I really like how it turned out. And the formatting doesn't look too awful. All right, so I'll tell you a little bit about it. Look at that. I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. So I was started playing around with the tarot because I wanted to um, find some archetypes to use for my quiz. I created a quiz for my business that uses some of the archetypes from the major arcana of the tarot and relates them to the process of expanding in your business. So I chose the fool, the magician, the high priestess, the empress, and the hierophant. And the way that those sort of play into each other is the way that we bring an idea from like the spirit world down into the physical world. So the fool is about boldness, it's about taking a leap of faith. The magician is about resourcing oneself, about figuring out what tools you have access to and learning how to wield them. The high priestess is about tapping back into your in intuition and listening to the voices that are trying to guide you forward. 
The Empress is about the actual act of creation. It's about birthing something into the world so that it's tangible, like we just did with this deck. And the Hierophant is about teaching and about actually broadcasting a message and letting people receive your um, wisdom and your guidance and actually come to receive that. So it's the actual sharing of the thing and the teaching of the stuff. Um, I also, it, for the deck, added in the Wheel of Fortune because that's a place where we actually are willing to receive and open up to receiving and sort of related it to um, how to begin actually making an income and changing our uh, uh, relationship to receiving. So there's six suits in the deck. There's 10 cards in each suit. Let's see. Um, this is the portal of the fool, the fool's portal. This is the magician's portal. And then there's a portal of the high priestess. There's a portal, empress portal. Let's see. Um, I can't believe I'm holding this in my hands. I worked so hard on this thing for two years and it's finally here. 41. This is the Hierophant's portal. Um, so those are the six suits. There's then 10 cards in each suit. And I sort of just invented what those 10 things would be. So I'm actually going to open the book so I don't tell you the wrong thing. The first aspect of each suit is the portal. Then there's four elements um, that represents the, the four realms of balance. So physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Then there's a hero's journey or a breakthrough for each suit, an invitation, a shadow, or a version of death and release. Um, there's a Brahma or inspiration, the lightning strike of creativity. Then the tenth aspect of each suit is a dream, vision, or magic. So uh, yeah, it's really fun. The idea is you just have the deck with you. You sort of feel through it or you have someone spread them out or you spread them out on your bed and you pull a card and I just pulled guidance. I'll just read you what guidance is because why not do a reading while I'm making this video? Um, guidance, while we, guidance is card number 47, which means it is part of the Empress, I believe. Yeah, no. It's part of the Hierophant. Huh, there, no, we got them all. Just making sure that the book has all the pieces. So, um, <laughs> guidance says, while we cultivate our autonomy and live in a world that demands self-sufficiency, we have strayed away from the village. Humans have been on earth for eons. The majority of our time here has been spent in the village, the tribe, the community. When living in that connected culture, we had access to the healer, the shaman, the guide. We were supported by our family, our neighbors, our people. That is no longer at our fingertips. It takes action to lean into support and reach out for guidance. You may have what you require within, yes, and this card may be asking you to reach out, ask for guidance from someone you trust, respect, or admire. I love that I pulled this card while I'm making this video because that's what I actually did last week or a couple weeks ago when I was getting ready to order this test print is I just posted the two versions of the back of the cards and two versions of the cover of the book and um, asked for feedback and guidance about what you guys thought would be the best option for those two things. And you showed up. So many people responded and had an opinion that it was really fun and exciting for me to receive all that feedback. Definitely made the decision a little bit harder because I wanted to please everyone. Originally, I thought I would get uh, one deck made with each of the different backs of the cards, and I ended up not doing that. I ended up doing uh, a different way by just trying out the one that I thought was best. Um, but yeah, I'm really grateful for the guidance and the support of everybody that contributed to the voting process. And what I'm also really excited to say is there's a chance to pre-order the decks that I'm going to be announcing. Um, you may actually be watching this video on that page. And if you order the decks in advance, they're not gonna come for a few weeks. The campaign on Indiegogo is gonna last for a few weeks and then there's gonna be a period of time um, where Indiegogo then processes the payments and sends them my way so that I can actually make the order of the full printing. My intention is to order 500 decks. So, um, I would really, really love your support in ordering one of these decks. I designed this to be about uh, expansion 
It's really about the creative process, about bringing an idea or a vision or a project to life, to bring it out of the con conceptual world and into the physical world. It's really great for entrepreneurs if you need inspiration, a uh, little insight every single day to move forward into more action, more growth, more creativity, more um, you know, spirit-led guidance. But it's also really, I think, useful and available and fun for anybody because who doesn't want to watch your truth transform the paradigm? I mean, uh, I really am happy to share this with you. It's going to look a little bit different when the cards actually come printed. There's going to be a white border around the edge on the front. And um, yeah, the backs are maybe going to be with a white circle so that you can see the detail on, on the tree a little bit better. It's gonna look a little bit different than the pictures that you see probably on your screen right now about these cards, but I would really love your support in getting that full printing made. And for everyone that voted or everyone who, you know, sat with me while I was coloring these pictures or working on this book, um, thank you for having my back. Thank you for being a part of this project, finally coming to life. I'm really excited to see this in hard copy, in my hands, coming straight out of my imagination. This deck is already really fun to hold. Um, and I hope that you take a deck home with you or buy a set of them for your book club or for um, giving away to raffle or giving away as gifts for Christmas presents or something. Thanks for watching this video. Um, hopefully see you on another one real soon and have a great day. Bye.